Hello and welcome back to Stubble Oak Debbie and this is episode 47 of my Direwolf 21.8 Let's play. I have some stuff ready to go today. This I got the stuff and things already <laughs> to happen so uh, let's have a look. Uh, first of all I have all these diamonds. Look at them. They're beautiful. <laughs> We need to make a block of diamonds and then we need to put the block of diamonds right here to get our pump. Yes. Oh, we get the buckets back. Nice. And then we need our two magmatic dynamos and our two ender tanks. Yes. Did not get the buckets back from that. Um, there we go. And the buckets should just get sorted. Uh, that's fine. So, uh, we can, this, this stuff is for this side. Uh, so we can probably just, I don't know, leave it like, actually that's the wrong stuff that I'm putting away. I'll leave this here. Um, I'm not sure if this will connect directly uh, because I've never used this mod before so I'm bringing some fluid pipes and energy pipes just in case we need them uh, because we got to go to the nether to get uh, some pump uh, some lava pump action going on All right. um, I already scouted out the location of a nice big lava pool <laughs> in the nether. Oh, so scary in here. I gotta give it a second so it can load up. Uh oh. Are you, are you coming at me? Ah! Take that. Okay, I think it's down here? Yeah, this is where I dug down. I found a cave, and I dug down some more. Uh-oh, what is that guy? He looks very... Oh, it's a... It's a is that a pigman or a zombie pigman? I'm not sure. Uh, we need to jump down this way. So I think we might be able to avoid him. I think this is not the way. Aha! And... Oh, this is so scary. Wait a minute. Here it is. Here it is. What is this? Uh, is this like a death marker? Did I hear? Remember it? Death number eight. Uh, must have been an old one because I'm pretty sure I died way more than eight times already. <laughs> oh, we got some leather from this guy. Uh, I was just digging and I wasn't really looking for uh, lava, but I was just trying to get some more nether quartz uh, and I came upon a huge lava lake so I figured why not um kind of want to put this on this hobble which is a little bit more sturdy than uh, this nether rack and I'm not sure if this needs to go directly over the lava or just uh, on like the corner here. So I guess we'll just try it. Uh, but right now it won't do anything because it doesn't have any power. So what I'm going to do is try it. Actually, I'm going to 
do the direwolf trick <laughs> so it'll place down correctly. Alright, so that should set hook up correctly. And hopefully it will automatically feed out through the top uh, into the ender tank. Uh, which I didn't think to uh, think anything uh, to dye that with, but if we only have the one, then it should be okay. I'm not gonna. I guess I could drink my milk. Because I need to get a bucket of lava. I'm gonna steal it from the corner over there. To put into our machine. Oh, what we need is uh, a way to pull out the lava out of the ender tank into our dynamo. Uh, so. We do need a fluid pipe. Oh man, you know what I did? Oh, it's not, it's not connecting to it. What does it only connect to the top or something? Ah! <laughs> Scared the Jeebus out of me. Okay, so I didn't bring the tool I need for the pipes. Eat my pipe wrench. Ah, oh, so I gotta get two iron. All right, uh, <laughs> let me pause the video right here and I will go get the pipe wrench so we can set this up. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Uh, all we need to do is Tell this to extract, uh, and then it should fill it up. Awesome! So we are already getting uh, lava. It's got 32 millibuckets in there. Ready? So what we need to do is now go back to the base. <laughs> that didn't take long to set up at all. And put our little wrench in there and this stuff and be on our way. When we get back to the base, we can set up our ender tank to feed into the other tank and then we can pull out of that tank and uh, put it into other magmatic dynamo that's going to power all our stuff and maybe we can even get um there are a couple of magmatic dynamos going once we get our power hooked up oh, this is so i think i went the wrong way oh here it is Whew. Easy to get lost down there. Oh, that's so scary. I never know if that's a friendly sound or if they're gonna keep my face off. Uh oh. Alright. We do have backup now, so. <laughs> we got our guys. Look how nice and lit up the area around our house is because of our lantern. <laughs> that's, that's pretty nice. I like it. Awesome. Okay, so let's sleep and get to setting up our new power system up. Oh, try to... Okay, so here we go. Our ender tank, magnetic dynamo, and our expert tornado tank. We're going down to the basement. Um, I'm thinking that I want to set up our initial machines like right above here, so this might be a good spot for our power. So maybe we'll put our ender tank here, and since we know it needs to come out of the top, 
uh, we'll put, I don't know if that will feed directly into the tank. No, it doesn't look like it. So we need to put that guy on there and then whack it with our wrench again. Oh, wrong wrench. Oh, look at it go. It's already filling up. Yes, um, I'm going to leave that out because we're probably going to need it. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think how do I want to do this. Uh, also, I don't know if this tank is sided like the ender tank. So maybe we might need to... pull out of the top. I don't know, let's try it. it. Looks like it connected. Let's see. I want to drop it down. So maybe we have you. Yeah, you're not in the right. I want to face up. So let's get our other wrench. There we go. Now, is that, did that fill, it filled up? So we don't have to have it, uh, actually I could probably move that. It's save a few. Oh, I was hoping that it would let me pick them up. Uh, so we can put this guy here. Put that there. And then that way. Awesome. Uh, so now we need our power cables. Do, 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 do. This might not be enough. Um, so maybe just to, two, three, so I guess that is the middle here, okay, so we just want to run our cable up here so we can build our machines. This way we could, you know, put some more cables here. Why did that suddenly go dim? I don't know. We could add a couple more here. Uh, have three dynamos and stuff. Is this, how much does this produce? It's producing four RF tape because it's in efficient mode because it's not outputting anything but it can produce up to 40. Awesome. We have power. Now we just need the machines to run it. Um, okay. So I guess it's time. It's time. Turn all this stuff down. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I left my mining gadget in there. I guess it took a while to let it go. Oh. Just trying to put it in there. Um, so let's find this stuff up. Um, have to shift click it. Because these all have inventories. Awesome. So we can get rid of all of our industrial craft machines and just go thermal, thermal series. And I believe I have, we'll just throw these guys in here. Actually, I need that charging station, probably. We have the basic generator, powered furnace, and the mass raider. Can keep this other stuff on us. 
Uh, check out that music. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's so, like, soothing and stuff. Also, I set up this uh, supply chest so it gets some common supplies that I need for crafting, which we're probably going to need now because uh, we got all this done. Uh, but I would like to get our basic uh, pulverizer and redstone furnace at least uh, just set up uh, with some simple automation like the hoppers and the chest so that if I kind of throw a stack or two of something in there like stone, it'll automatically make that. And that would be really cool to set up. So we're probably going to need, let's see, pulverizer, uh, copper, oh, copper and some gold. I think that I put gold in here yet. Let's take some of this, take some of that that probably some glass then we need uh, copper and I think that should do it I would definitely want to get uh, an auto processing uh, unit set up as well but I need this so that anything I absolutely need I can I can get set up and going and these will be a little bit easier to set up than the, the industrial craft. So, let's get to it. A redstone furnace. We need... Oh, I, I forgot. The iron nuggets. I got those in here. Okay. A redstone furnace. We need two copper gears. Boop, boop and one of these flux coils and a machine frame. Ooh, we're going to need a tin gear. I didn't get any tin. So, oh, look, we got, got off some tin. Alright. So we need a tin gear. Uh, we're probably going to need another one, but that's okay. We'll make that Get there. Oh yeah, a machine frame. Oh, we need the bricks. The bricks. I only have four bricks, but I do I do have some clay here. Uh huh. I just realized that I took down my furnace, so now I can't even smell uh so what I'm probably gonna do is just make a simple furnace here because I oh I only need make uh just just a wee bit I just need a wee bit <laughs> a wee bit of bricks Wait. Oh, this is going to be so good. Ah, I, I realized my mistake now <laughs> that I've made for a long, long time is that uh, I don't have the time in the model. Um, I really like that in my ocean block, and I see Dire Wolf playing with it in his Let's Play, and I'm like... Why don't I have this? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so we might need to look into getting one of those as well. Awesome. Here's our furnace. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go in to my block. It's not full or anything. Oh, probably because. I was shifting, I bet. That makes sense. Okay, so we have our furnace. Boop. And now we need a pulverizer, which is two more copper gears. Oh, I didn't shift click it. 
two more copper gears, another redstone flux coil, a machine brain, which takes another 10 gear, and ooh, and oh, we need a piston, which means I need the wood. Uh, Wait, uh, and then the two flint. Doink and doink. And we need to sleep. We're going over here eating though, so not a big thing. Sweet. Okay, so let's put our pulverize in here. Um, I think, I think I wanted to go into a separate chest. Like I can have a chest here and a chest here, chest here, chest here. I don't want this to be automated too much and we won't need these, uh, hoppers actually so because these have the auto uh, the auto input and auto output they're both disabled but all you have to do is click it and it will enable it so you can pull directly from a chest or push direct to a chest so it'll be great um why aren't you oh you know what i did got to tell it to uh, extract the power from our dynamo uh, did i get it no i didn't get it there <laughs> oopsie i forget about the the pipes now it should be getting juice up here. Yeah. There we go. Fill it up. So we just have to configure these. We want this. I think I just want it to do in from the top out to the left. And we want to enable those. And the same for this, only in through the top, out through the right. And then they should be gold. Like, I can come over here to my blocks and say, oh, I want four stacks of bubble uh, put through the pulverizer. Get some gravel <laughs> uh, because I like having glass and if I oh look it's got a chance of producing sand too so that's pretty cool get a little bit extra uh, so I can just let that run and have some fun yeah also dude my little golem, my little amethyst golem down here, he's, he's just going at it. Oh my goodness. Uh, he's got like, I think every one of those converted to budding amethyst now. And he's just raking in all the amethyst. Look at it. Look at it. It's great. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> He's, you're doing a good job, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, ding, ding, ding. oh we got some more. Um, I also want to check on our little Starbuckle. That would be kind of cool. Uh, see how he's doing. Get in on him. Oh. I'm telling you, I've got to get a better way of thinking about, I think the RF tools has like a teleportation pad 
pretty sure I used that in my ocean block. Yeah. I'm tempted to, to put that, like, put a little portal up here just so I could get to my different mine levels easier. Uh, because it is a pain going up the ladder. It's not so bad going down, but going up is it's pretty bad. How you doing over here, little Starbuckle? He's still going at it. Still got... Also, this should be close enough, I think. If I put you closer, would you pull from it? Ah, oh, okay, now it must have been too far away. So I think this will help speed it up. Uh-huh, see? That's why it was taking me so long because uh, it wasn't actually close enough to pull from. Look at all that. It's just sucking it up. Um, oh, that is cool. So I might need to look at uh, maybe getting some way to, because this is now too far away from the source link to get filled back up. Look at how fast it sucked that down. I was like wondering what I was ever going to use that for, but look how fast it is now. Dude, it's so good. Okay, um, let's put you back. It's you. Might as well use it if I got it right. Um, I could probably make another some kind of way to transfer source from here to here is that even a thing i should have my book on here um source uh, source relay that sounds promising there are also i watched dire wolf's video and i learned some about creating source like you can get it in other ways than just crop growth. So you can get uh, a volcanic volcanic source link and it will create source uh, by converting stone into magma and then magma into lava. Uh, but I haven't really done anything uh, with that. And there's the alchemical source link and my sea leaf source link. But what I want is this source relay. Okay, enables the transport of source between source jars and other source relays. To pull source from jars, use the dominion wand on the jar and then on the relay. To send between relays or from a relay to a jar, use the wand on the relay and then the target you wish to send source to. Relays may only reach up to 30 blocks away. Clear connection, sneak one. Okay, well, we just need a little bit of gold, and I think that would help with this issue over here. Except it's used up all my source already. Uh, well, let's leave that there and go get some gold. Actually, dude, I have gold on me. Uh, we just need one of these source blocks that our cute little Starbuncle has gotten for us. Now, is this going to show up? Yes, source relay. Nice. Okay, so I should be able to uh, put this. It's. I mean, it's. I only needed to go two more blocks, but. So we need the Dominion Wand and we need to hook this guy up to there. Awesome, look at him go already. And then hook this guy up to there. Uh-oh. No. I think I did a bad thing, okay.
Okay. Okay, you don't have to sneak click. Sneak clicking actually uh, clears it, so that's no good. Oh, look at it go. Okay. I need another another source jar. Can I get another source jar? Oh, uh, actually, I probably don't need it since I'm actually going to be using this source. Oh, uh, we need some slabs and flats. But I do have tons of slabs right over here. Get this out of the way. Oh, I got tons of stuff here. I just want to get this real quick. What do I got? Six. That's how much I need. Oh, I'm so glad we got got some power going. Um, I will probably go ahead and make uh, two more of those magmatic dynamos in between episodes uh, so that we can also get the other machines going the magma crucible, the fluid encapsulator, and the induction smelter. Mainly we need the induction smelter and that will help us creating alloys a lot easier. So that will help. Um, yeah, so anyway, we got our goals accomplished today. We got the uh, pump set up in nether, give us tons of lava, and we have a magnetic dynamo to give us power from that lava. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!